Hello everyone, hello, welcome to 3M Challenge. I'm your host, Great Mirror Fastbird. Today is 3M. Tonight we're going to be summoning the almighty, powerful radio demon at 3 a.m. Alistair from the Asman Hotel. Now make sure to like and subscribe. Shout out if you are new. Shout out to our subscriber who wants me to do chat. Please go follow his or her YouTube channel. Link will be down to picture below. Comments will be at the end of the video. Let's do the thing. Let me explain about the 3M challenge. 3M challenge is real, completely dangerous. It's done by training professionals. If you are not a training professional, do not do this at home. This is for training professionals only. The 3M challenge is the time pairing activity. We're going Scott because we're all the supernatural power and etc. It is at the maximum from 3M goes back down to no more. It's four things fine. So 3M is the time where you can summon literally anything like creep bosses or terrors or creep bosses enemies like ghost face anyways or fast bears or like literally anything at this hour and they will come. So you're probably wondering, Mir, how are you going to summon Alistair? Have you summoned him before? Yes, I have summoned him before. Anyone wants me to do any more videos with Alistair, tell me in the comments below right now. Last time I summoned Alistair, I think it was almost about a year ago or close to a year ago or something. I don't know. It's been a while. Now, you're probably curious on how you're going to summon him. Well, as we all know, he's from the animated show at the has -Been Hotel. There are thousands of ways to summon him. You can call him, text him, do a reaction video on one of his scenes it's got to be less than five minutes or less than 10 minutes long you can do the bedroom challenge you can do the mirror challenge and he will get out of the show and come to you literally so you're probably wondering is there a weapon you're going to be using against the almighty powerful radio, radio demon well As we all know, he is a stupid motherfucking radio power ass demon. What better way to summon him than using a radio yourself? Yes! So, we're gonna be doing the bedroom challenge to summon him. Wish me good luck. There's no one rule to complete this challenge. Follow this number one rule. You should be golden. Don't skip a step. Don't skip two. Don't skip half. Don't skip the full step. Otherwise, the challenge won't work. Follow this number one rule from top to finish. You should be golden. It is this. Ready? Okay. <sighs> Set your alarm clock for five or ten minutes before. Three and put water on your face off. We got make it off and Read the instructions two times before you start. Have one of these drinks before you start, guys. One of these drinks before you start. Yes, I had tea. I'm okay. Four cups of tea. I'm cutting down to four cups of tea instead of six cups. Like two cups in the morning, two cups at the noon, two cups at night. I decided to do four cups of tea. Anyways, have one of these drinks before you start, guys. Have water, milk, soda, tea, hot chocolate, milk, chocolate, milk, guess that says no coffee, coffee by night long. Follow the number one rule, should be golden. Here's the thing if you don't, for example, if you wake up at 3 a.m. or at 3 a.m., you have to sleep, you want to summon Alistair, Pennywise, Ghostface, uh, Lucifer, uh, well, this again. Adam, you're going to be half asleep. Even if you do challenge half complete or fully, the challenge will not work. You got to be extremely wide awake to do it. Here's how we're going to do it. Ready? Okay. This is where it gets dangerous. Set your alarm clock for five or ten minutes before. Three and focal water. Tell you got. Make yourself presentable. Read the instructions two times before you start. Have one of these drinks before you start. Have water, milk, soda, tea, or chocolate, milk, chocolate, milk, it's just, it's no coffee, coffee, but it's long. Lock the windows, lock the doors, turn off all lights, go to bed and close the door, lock it, sleep on your bed. Hold the radio right next to you. You can have a new one or an old one. You need to put it on your lap. Turn off the light, look at the blank wall, but if it's got posters or pictures, take off the posters and or pictures. Put it back on when it hits 4 a.m. or go to sleep, wake up, and then put it on. The challenge won't work if it's got posters or pictures, so take it off. Look at the blank wall, close your eyes, chant Alistair three times, then do it again, 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 again. The more you do it, the higher chance for him to show up. So chant his name three times, nothing might happen. If we do it again, we might hear footsteps. If we do it again, if we hear and see him, the challenge is complete. And this is going to be his hot spot to show up. Because, as we all know, his staff is like um, a radio thing that, that he holds and stuff. And he's in charge of the radio. So, with the antenna going up, like this, it's a hot spot for him to show up, because he loves motherfucking radios, because he's the fucking radio demon. So once we hear and see him, the challenge is complete, 
and try to talk to him because he is, we all know he's crazy, right? So if you summon him at 3 a.m., he goes from crazy to a million times insane because if you summon someone who is nice or one of the nice pastas like Splendorman thing is, guys, he's a little bit nice when I see him at the Slender Mansion. But at 3 a.m., if you summon him, he is 10 times evil. So imagine Alistair coming here at 3 a.m. He's going to be a million times or maybe 10 times or a million times terrifying and insane. So once we're here and see him, we're going to talk to him. And if he tries to make a deal, decline that deal. ASAP. ASAP. His challenge is going to be the most terrifying challenge ever. If he laughs or starts walking towards me, trying to make a deal, I need to turn on a light ASAP. We'll hear and see flashing lights, advancing silence only means 4 a.m. And we have to see get the dream challenge. Enough talking. Here we go. I got this right on my lap. One quick tip before we start. No cheating. No shortcuts. Do not put the camera spread out your face like this if you are recording because your eyes will be focused on two things, the camera and the wall. Your eyes may be focused on one thing, and that's the wall. Other thing is, don't put it straight out your face like this, because the reflection of the camera will distract the 3M challenge, and the 3M challenge won't work. If you want to record and do this, I recommend don't. This is for training professors only. Put the camera straight down here, look at the wall, close your eyes, you should be golden. I'm talking, here we go. Let's do this thing. All right, everyone, tell me the comments below. If you hear or see Alistair, give me the timestamp, let's do this thing. I have my radio with me. Here we go. Let's hope he comes, because his staff is physically a stupid radio speaker thing. He needs no other radio demon. Here we go. I'm going to regret nothing. I'm not scared how powerful he is. He might be powerful, but I'm taking it off. <sighs> Alistair, Alistair, Alistair. All right. Nothing yet. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Alistair. 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 Okay. 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 I heard footsteps. I don't even know it was like right in front of me or behind me. Anything? Right. I forgot. He has a shadow demon behind him. I call it a shadow. Shadow radio demon behind his ass. Okay. Okay, I'm regretting this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is getting terrifying. Here we go. I regret nothing. Alistair. Alistair. Oh boy. Alistair. Whoa, Alistair. holy fuck. Pleasure to be meeting you. Alistair. Little radio demon. Hello, I'm Mira. Pleasure to be meeting you, sir. Quite a pleasure. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. You are much shorter in real life. <laughs> Listen, just because I'm short doesn't mean you have to make fun of me and one of your little puns, Alistair. So you're the fucking radio demon. Didn't Adam call you the Edge Lord when you fought him and you lost? Uh, what did you say? Uh, no nothing. I said nothing. Nothing, nothing. Hey, uh, okay, do not give me that look. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do not end me, do not end me. <laughs> and yet, I'm going to probably say your rival, Lucifer, that I think that you two are kind of like rivals because you hate Lucifer. I think he is more fun than you, Alistair. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. Uh, sure. You so no deals. No deal? deals. No deals. I'm not selling my soul to you. You're a fucking demon. Why would I sell my soul out to an idiot lord demon like you? You heard me. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> okay. 
Fuck it, I'll turn on the light. But I'm Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived. Holy shit. Okay, let's review what the fuck just happened. Oh my god. Okay. I turn on the light. I look at the wall. I close my eyes. I chant the name three times. Something happens. I do it again. I hear footsteps. I do it again. We hear and see him. He's talking, I'm talking, he wants to make a deal with me. Guys, whatever happens, do not make a deal with a motherfucking demon because one, they can trick you, and two, you're forced to do whatever the hell they're gonna make you do. And he's laughing, he's walking towards me, I'm like, shit. So I did the only thing to end the challenge. It was 3.59 a.m. I turn on the light, we hear and see flashing lights, bangs and sounds, only means one thing only. Is it for him? Did we fucking make it? We made it! Holy fast bear! Wow! Look at my clock. Wow! That was terrifying! Holy shit! Unbelievable. It's 4 a.m. We made it. Wow! Just wow! Truly insane! Oh my fast bear, I can't believe we survived. Wow! Just wow! Where's my radio? I used to summon him. It's gone! What the fuck? You don't think when I turned around to turn on a light, Alistair stole my fucking radio? He stole it. God damn it! It was with a radio I could actually use to actually contact the spirits. Yes, I have spirit, um, stuff. Like, literally, the pro stuff to contact spirits. And he took it. How can I contact any goddamn spirits if he took it? Ugh. Oh, great. Gonna have to buy another one. Great. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Alright, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Shout out if you're new. I'm not thrilled with the fact he stole my goddamn radio. Spirit contact radio. Great. It is wonderful. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Have a good day. Peace out, buddy. Goodbye. Ciao. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm shocked. The fact we fucking survived. And other thing I had with me besides the radio, I forgot to show you this. My Egyptian symbol, Audionx. If anyone knows about this symbol and has watched my videos on 3M before, summoning spirits or Slenderman or anything, this Egyptian symbol is the symbol of life, renewal, rebirth, and can protect you from any bad spirits or demons like Alistair the Radio Demon or aka the Edgelord. I had it in my pocket. He couldn't harm me because I had this. Yeah. I'm, glad. I'm glad I kept this with me. I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a good day. And if anyone wants to get this, tell me in the comments below and I'll send you a link. This I made by hand, actually. But if anyone wants to get a small one that can protect you, tell me in the comments below, and I can get you one. Well, actually, you guys can get one if I send, send you a link in anyways. Alright, see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Ciao.